At the intersection of Liberty and Bull Street in Savannah, Georgia, you'll find the Sorrell Weed House, the most haunted house in the most haunted city in the United States. Enjoy this tour of a house where the paranormal is normal. This is going to be a very, a very spooky tour. Standing on. So, 
When you go back home, you can tell all of your friends, hey, guess what? I still remember our relief parties, and they're all going to be like so jealous. <laughs> Just kidding. But our guests, upon entering, smell cigar smoke in here, or they smell brandy. We've had some guests report that they can hear music playing, either from the piano or from the violin or from a band in general. Some guests who've walked into the ladies' parlor can hear chattering as well as smell perfumes. So we have a lot of activity that occurs in these rooms. We also get a lot of photography from these rooms. <laughs> All right, guys. So in case you didn't know, we do offer daytime tours. His daughters love this mirror so much. They wanted a photo. So they asked him, and he said, OK, we'll stand in front of it, and I'll take a photo. So he whips his phone out, and he snaps a photo of his girls. In the photo that you're going to see, you'll see the base of the mirror. You'll see the two girls. They'll be in white. And I'll point to what you need to pay attention to. And my two volunteers, you guys are going to be last so that you can watch and listen to everybody else's reactions. Gosh. Get away from that mirror. Get away from the mirror. Oh. <laughs> there was nobody in between them, but we also noticed that Dad did take the fifth picture with his phone. Maybe he downloaded, purposely or not, an app that puts in scary pictures, like that girl from The Grudge, in the middle of the picture. So we downloaded, purchased, researched every phone app that we could and tried to replicate this photo. We did everything we could in our power to get it to work, and we couldn't. We could not replicate. Hence why we share it on our tours, hence why we dub it as paranormal. We simply can't explain it. This is a pretty creepy place. Pretty creepy. to you that is earring your necklace, I do ask that you please remove them now and place them in your pockets or your purse. We have a spirit who likes to take... Oh, shit. We have a spirit who likes to take jewelry, and I would hate for you guys to lose your possessions. Oh. And so this room right here is known as the surgery room. Oh. I usually like to open up about this piece right here. This is an antique wheelchair. You ask that you please you know, sit or touch on it. But there is a couch right there if you want to sit. But this piece of furniture came to us a couple years ago, and when it did, our spirits were extremely excited about it. You see, they started moving this piece of furniture on their own. 
we do have a camera back there. And it does catch it moving ever so slightly. When we catch this evidence after everybody's kind of gone home for the evening, we do repost it onto our Facebook page, Sorrel Weed House Evidence Group. You can go there, you can find this footage as well as other footage of things that we've caught in the house before that are paranormal. Guys, this is a spooky tour for real. This is kind of messed up. I mean, there's some weird stuff that's happened here. They got some video and pictures, proof of it. It's weird. Going outside now. Everything kind of takes a dark turn and we kind of get a little more serious and respectful because there's a lot of tragedy that's going to hit you guys. Okay? And she found Molly. She found Molly in bed. But she also found her husband Francis in bed with Molly. And I do want to remind you that Molly was enslaved, meaning that this may not have been her choice. What I can say is that Matilda falls from this balcony and lands on her head in the courtyard. The entire house is devastated and she passes away that night from her injuries. But once again, Molly cannot be found. They look upstairs, they look the parlor rooms, they go downstairs, there's no Molly. They cross, they go upstairs and knock on the door and they find Molly, but this time, She's hanging from the rafters, dead. These two ladies, these two women that ran this household, passing away within two weeks of each other is devastating for this family. It stands for electronic voice phenomena. This is where you take a recording device and you lay it down or you ask questions and basically you're recording your voice but you're also hoping that by the time you play it back, you're gonna have a spirit's voice answering your questions or just talking in general. With that said, the Ghost Hunters crew, Caps, came here for their very first Ghost Hunters special, for their Halloween special. And when they came here, they caught an EVP in Molly's room. I do have a copy of it, and I'd love to share it with you guys. We are going to head on into the carriage house. The video that you're fixing to see, the first thing they're going to talk about is a photo. Once they get done talking about the photo, they're going to talk about a screen. This is when they'll play the EVP. After that, they'll play it again with the dialogue that they believe they heard. It looks like dust. It looks like dust. But when you take, we took another picture about five minutes later, we still got, we got the same three orbs on the other side, Steve. alleyway during the investigation that kept noise at a minimum. They also had a second recording device upstairs that caught absolutely nothing. This is like one of the creepiest things I've ever done. I must say. It's <laughs> so our tour guide. She's really good. And we're a group of 20. So this is about the right number of people that would have lived up here. Imagine a fire going, having a public bathroom, having a public shower, take out the air conditioning, some of us are going to be sleeping on the bunks, probably two by two, and most of us are going to be sleeping on the floor. These are not great conditions. It was actually horrible conditions. Is that they feel like they have a heavy sensation on their chest that they can't breathe. We must also had guests who walked in and immediately upon entering through that threshold, they immediately become depressed. That was a really great tour. They're getting started on the walking tour of a cemetery nearby that I did not choose to participate in, but the walking tour of this place was awesome. Although it was dark, most of it, I tried to take some pictures to show you what she was talking about, but man, that was a creepy tour. There's some weird messed up stuff that happened in that family, and man, it was spooky. Of course, it's nighttime and you can't see anything, but hey, it was cool. You know, it was on taps and I always like that kind of ghost stuff anyway. I don't know what I believe in that, but hey, I like I like a little bit of spook every now and again. Well, friends, thanks for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing here, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that little bell button so you don't miss out on any of these adventures ever again. I'll see you in the next video.